On June 30th, the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership (RCEP) has come into effect for half a year. To this day, 13 of the 15 signing countries have enforced the agreement. Over the past six months, what scorecard has the world's largest free trade zone delivered? The ongoing dividends of RCEP keep adding momentum to foster a new development paradigm and opening up against higher standards in China. In January 2022, six authorities, including the Ministry of Commerce and the National Development and Reform Commission, have jointly issued documents promulgating an array of measures to facilitate enterprises to take advantage of the RCEP. According to CNBC, Beijing has laid out a blueprint for Chinese businesses. On how to expand trade and find opportunities through RCEP, the policy dividends of RCEP are visible, according to the data of the China Council for the Promotion of International Trade. In the first five months of 2022, the value of issuing certificates of origin stood at 155.34 billion U.S. dollars, a growth of 23.95 percent year on year. It's worth noting that the RCEP also makes the first Free trade arrangement between China and Japan, which significantly drives China exports to Japan. For five consecutive months, Japan was the top export destination for the insurance of RCEP certificates of origin by value, accounting for over 90% of the monthly value. For other countries within the region, the scorecard of RCEP is also commendable for the first half of 2022. Durian from Thailand, dairy products from New Zealand, sake from Japan. As the markets get more accessible, tariff barriers broken, the quality of imported goods rise while the prices drop, benefiting businesses and consumers of the shared dividends. France 24 highlighted the RCEP's appeals to other developing countries, seeing the RCEP as a boon for developing countries because it reduces barriers to trade in farm goods, manufactured goods, and components. Which make up most of their exports. The case of Cambodia is highly representative. Cambodia Commerce Minister Pan Sorasek said on June 29, "Under RCEP, Cambodia is expected to see a year's export growth between 9.4 percent and 18 percent, which will contribute to the national economy growth between 2 percent and 3.8 percent." Win-win represents the key word of RCEP. It will prove, with higher scores, the undercurrents of anti-globalization, like decoupling or beggar thy neighbor, may make waves for some time, but incapable of turning the tide of economic globalization.